All right, thanks everyone. Welcome, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, thanks for your patience. We just wanted to give everyone a few moments just to get logged in, but we'll go ahead and get going. Um, so welcome to our webinar. We're so excited to have you here and to talk to you about the Master of Global Management and Healthcare Services. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, just go ahead and please list it in the Q&A box and we will address them at the end of the webinar. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce myself and my colleagues. Um, my name is Alicia Bach. I'm the program manager at Thunderbird School of Global Management. Uh, I will be the main point of contact for all students from the time that you submit your application all the way through admissions, uh, sorry, all the way through until you graduate. <laughs> um, and with me today, I have my colleagues from Dignity Health uh, Global Education, uh, Lindsay Granger, she's the Senior Manager of Enrollment, and Lena Artini, and she's the Enrollment Advisor. And next slide, please. Okay, so Thunderbird's vision is a world with sustainable and equitable prosperity, and our mission is to educate global leaders and managers who will maximize the benefits of the fourth industrial revolution. We consider ourselves the vanguard of global leadership, management, and business education, as we aim to empower prepare and influence our students to be future ready leaders with a 21st century digital global mindset. Next slide, please. So a little bit about us. For the past 75 years, Thunderbird has always believed in bringing the world together with a global mindset. Thunderbird, <clears throat> excuse me, Thunderbird was first founded in 1946 in Glendale, Arizona on a World War II Air Force base where pilots from around the world came to train. In the 1970s, the school then became the first higher education institution to focus exclusively on international management with a hands-on real-world approach to training. In the 90s, we then launched executive education programs and online programs um, located in some of our hubs in Moscow, Geneva, and other countries around the globe. Next slide, please. Bringing it forward to um, current times, in 2015, Thunderbird became an independent unit and the 16th college at Arizona State University. <clears throat> Excuse me. Combining Thunderbird's multi-decade heritage of developing global business leaders with ASU's expansive resources. This move then brought the number one ranked master's in management under the umbrella of the number one ranked school for innovation. Next slide, please. So as a, as a Thunderbird graduate, you will have a lifelong connection to other alumni and the school. Being a Thunderbird will change your career, your mindset, and global breadth of your network. With 46,000 alumni from around the globe, wherever you are, you will find local T-Birds ready to help, tackle you, help you tackle your business and cultural challenges. There are opportunities to connect with other students and alumni by joining a local chapter for networking events, alumni reunions, or professional development webinars. Alumni events are held on a monthly basis around the globe and online as well. Once you're an enrolled student, you'll also get access to T-Bird Connect where you'll receive different event updates and the ability to join a local chapter. As an example, uh, we do have our 75th anniversary coming up in the beginning of November. And for more information, go ahead and visit the website that uh, we're going to go ahead and post in the chat box in a moment and just select the pre-registration tab to sign up for updates. Next slide, please. And all right, well, now I'm going to go ahead and hand things over to, over to Lindsay, the Senior Manager of Enrollment with DHG. Thanks, Alicia. Uh, and thank you for that great overview of Thunderbird and its impressive history and alumni networks. So my name is Lindsay, and like Alicia said, I'm the Senior Manager of Enrollment with Dignity Health Global Education. And I've been lucky enough to work with Alicia for the past year and a half on this amazing MGM and Healthcare Services program. So Dignity Health Global Education, or DHGE, which is much easier to pronounce, uh, have partnered with the Thunderbird School of Global Management and Edson College to create a healthcare specialization of their already existing number one ranked masters of management in the world. So what we've done is gone ahead and combined healthcare innovation um, with you know, global management and an entrepreneurial mindset uh, to create a curriculum that teaches skills in cross-cultural dynamics and negotiation, global leadership and data-driven decision-making. 
and united by a huge, huge passion for innovation and transforming healthcare, our graduates are really the leaders who will bring the knowledge of healthcare that they've learned in this program into the future. Next slide, please. So what is an MGM? You've probably all heard of MBAs and MHAs and, you know, maybe not so familiar with the acronym MGM and especially what makes this one so unique. So the Master of Global Management in Healthcare Services is a top tier management degree that's been tailored um, to the modern healthcare industry and combines elements of Thunderbird's renowned existing curriculum with insights from the DHGE network of healthcare professionals. And this degree was designed for remote learners um, and features cutting edge learning platforms and content that is hosted 100% online. So having said that, it's more than just learning in the classroom. Um, it's an experience that you're getting uh, through networking with uh, your peers and faculty members, both during your time as a student and also upon graduation. Uh, the MGM in Healthcare Services really focuses on international business and the diversification of global supply chains, all while having a huge, huge emphasis on fostering innovation throughout the program. This particular online master's degree goes above and beyond a traditional MBA or MHA by delivering true tested healthcare management strategies and cutting edge healthcare expertise from faculty members and subject matter experts that you get exposed to throughout the entire program. And grads of the MGM and Healthcare Services are 100% prepared to transform healthcare organizations, regardless of the size, um, and take them into the future with all of the knowledge that they've learned in the program. Next slide. So this is a tough question, but it's one that uh, Alicia and Lena and I get all the time. And um, in a nutshell, the, the program is designed for motivated, innovative healthcare professionals who are looking to gain global perspectives on healthcare and develop there's that word again, innovative <laughs> solutions for pressing health issues. And I think the main thing to remember here, especially in light of COVID and everything that we've gone through the last year, is that borders and national identities don't confine healthcare anymore. And in order to succeed in this increasingly global landscape that we have, healthcare needs leaders who can nurture not only domestic but international um, relationships, diversify their supply chain and business practices, and develop innovative um, solutions for contemporary healthcare needs. So again, if I, can, if I can kind of put it into a box, this program is perfect for individuals who want to lead the way in the transformation of healthcare. And from next level networking to building innovative strategies among communities of leaders, the lessons that our students learn in this program will benefit them in their future careers and also beyond once they've left their knowledge kind of in a form of a legacy to their organization. Next slide. So here are some examples of our students kind of backgrounds um, within healthcare across obviously many different organizations. And as you can see, we have a really diverse range of titles uh, within our students, including directors, analysts, managers and sales managers, and physicians. And don't be concerned if you don't see your organization or your job title in this. Again, we're not fitting you into a box. This is just kind of examples of who our current learners are. Um, and I've had my share of classmates and cohorts over the years throughout my own academic experiences. And there's really nothing worse than being in a, you know, homogeneous type of class where most of your peers have extremely similar job roles, experiences, advice, and everybody just kind of stays on this level playing field. Um, so a really cool benefit of this program is that you'll be surrounded by peers who come from a variety of backgrounds and experiences, all related to healthcare, obviously, but having those kind of diverse backgrounds and experiences are going to enrich your student experience and allow for really, really amazing networking opportunities once you graduate as well. 
Uh, so having said all of that, I'm gonna hand things over now to Lena, who is uh, DHGE's program advisor for the MGM and Healthcare Services. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, um, go over a few things right now. Um, as you know, I'm the program advisor here at DHEG for this amazing MGM uh, in healthcare services program. I'm going to be spending the next few slides going over the structure, the content, faculty, and admissions requirements. Now, with the history of a global focus on constant innovation, Thunderbird is uniquely propositioned to help um, health leaders not only to navigate the world currently, but to excel in future trends. The program explores relevant topics such as global business environment, global management strategy, healthcare policy and innovation, leading digital and data decision making. And I'll go over each of these bubbles in detail in the next few slides, but the uh, program is made up of uh, 48 credits, sorry, 49 credits, two practicums and two personal development capstones. And although it's an online program, you absolutely do get the cohort feeling along with set of office hours each week with the course faculty. Next slide, please. Okay, wonderful. So as I mentioned earlier, it's 43 credit hours. Um, it's an online blend of videos, lectures, simulations, um, exercises and exams, as well as active decision and team-based learning. And the remaining six credit hours are the in-person apply project practicums. So here is a list of, um, of the courses that you'll be taking. Um, there is healthcare innovation, global accounting, health administration and management, uh, financial value creation for leaders, digital and data decision-making, global leadership, uh, personal development, global marketing strategy, and international communication and negotiation. Next slide, please. Okay, so what's easily the most unique aspect of this program are the practicum portions. Throughout the program, students will benefit from two applied project practicums. These practicums are sprint style consulting opportunities where students work in small teams under faculty guidance to identify, analyze, and solve real problems for real world clients in the healthcare industry. Clients may include healthcare related companies at various stages of, of in the business cycle from all over North America, such as participants in the Mayo Clinic, ASU MedTech Accelerator, who are looking to solve specific business problems, such as uh, launching a product in new market or raising their next round of financing. The practicum sprints culminate in the presentation of student determined strategic or operational uh, solutions to the client. Next slide, please. Okay, wonderful. Now I'd like to introduce you to our esteemed lead faculty. We have Dr. Gibbons, who's the academic director for the MGM and Healthcare Services Program, and he will be the primary faculty member you will be conversing with. Then we have Dr. Hansacker, who is the Associate Dean of Innovation with Thunderbird. And lastly, Dr. Hall, who is the Senior Director and Clinical Professor at Edson College of Nursing and health innovation. We are extremely fortunate to have these three pioneers involved in um, MGM, MGM HS's program. Next slide, please. So here we also have quite the roster of impressive faculty members who will all have the, you all will have the pleasure uh, of learning from. Also feel free to go on our website to look up their biography if you have any questions about them let us know and, and we'll be able to answer them for you. Next slide, please. All right, here's a sample course path that you will follow for our August 2021 intake. The fall and spring classes last for seven and a half weeks while the summer classes are six weeks. The applied practicums are one week in length and the exact dates of those practicums are outlined in the academic calendar so you can plan accordingly. 
Next slide. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just go over the, the finances, what it costs, and, and how the process works. So as I mentioned earlier, you will be taking 49 credits. The full program cost is $70,000. It really breaks down to $1,428 per credit hour. There's a $70 application fee for domestic applicants and $115 for international students. There is a program deposit of $500. It's an enrollment deposit. It confirms your acceptance of admission and reserves you a seat in the program. Basically, it allows you to register for your first term courses and the deposit will be credited towards your tuition after. Um, we also um, have um, designated account managers to help you with financial aid and FAFSA as well. Next slide. Okay. So we do, um, we're incredibly pleased to, to really be able to offer this uh, variety of scholarships for our August 2021 intake uh, for the MGM and healthcare services. Our students come from dynamic backgrounds and therefore we wanted to offer dynamic scholarships to healthcare innovators, uh, physicians, nurse leaders, and of course, anyone who has previously taken a DHGE program. Now, we do have 15 spots available at $15,000 each for healthcare innovators. Again, 15 spots for nurse innovators, um, again, at $15,000, and $15,000 for 10 spots in international healthcare leadership. And there's a $10,000 alumni scholarship for DHGE uh, former students. Next. Okay. So here's the application process. Uh, um, there's, there's the list. Obviously, we're going to need um, a copy of your undergraduate and your graduate transcripts from uh, accredited universities. Uh, TOEFL, ILATS, or PTE is applicable, are applicable if you have graduated from a non-English speaking university or, or a country. Um, obviously, there's the submission of your online application form. That includes your resume. Um, documenting your professional and academic history, an essay answering an application question, contact information for one professional or an academic reference, um, the official transcripts, um, admissions interviews if applicable, and uh, GRE or a GMAT. However, we are happy to inform you that we are waiving the GRE and the GMAT at this point. Next slide, please. Okay, so I know Lindsay touched on this earlier, but I really want to reiterate the statement. To succeed in an increasingly global landscape, healthcare needs leaders who can nurture international relationships, diversify their supply chain and business practices, and develop innovative solutions for contemporary healthcare needs. Folks, really, this is your opportunity to become a global leader. Next slide. Okay, so again, I want to um, just quickly mention the scholarships. Um, they are limited spots available. So the sooner you apply, we can at least um, get the scholarship portion out of the way and get you accepted in the program. I really highly encourage you to reach out to me to, um, to apply for the program if you have any questions. Uh, we do have um, early bird discount if you apply before June 4th, and that's really around the corner. So uh, the deadline is August 1st, and the classes start on August 19th. Next slide. Okay, so here is my contact information, and uh, there's my phone number, email address. Feel free to reach out to myself or Lindsay um, or even Alicia. will be able to help you out and, and get the process started. All right, so what I would like to do now is end our webinar by a, with a feedback from two of our current um, MGM and healthcare services students. Please feel free to... Um, add your questions in the chat or the Q&A box. And while we're waiting for the questions to come in, please feel free to go um, to read the, the testimonials of Adriana and Ramona. And uh, I think we're going to open up the floor for questions now, Lindsay. 
Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Lena, for all of that information. Um, so I have the first question here, and I think, Lena, you'll probably be the best one to um, okay. answer it. Can you explain the essay question that you talked about um, in the um, admissions yeah. process? Yeah, of course. So basically what it is, it's, um, it's a 300 to 500 word essay explaining to us who you are, what you do, what your career aspirations and visions are, and more importantly, how getting this degree will help you achieve your career goals. Uh, uh, really basically tell us who you are and, and where you want to go and what you want to do. I hope that answers it. And um, one more thing, if it's a little over three, uh, 500 words, it's okay, don't worry about it. We like to know about you. <laughs> Alicia will continue reading past 500 words, so. Yes, she will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, perfect, thank you, Lena. Uh, the next question, probably Alicia, this is for you, is um, how do the office hours work? Thanks, Lindsay, um, or whoever that asked the question, that's a great question. Um, the office hours, It's this is something that I love because it makes the program very unique to any other online program. Um, mo a typical online classes you go and you have, you don't have a whole lot of interaction with your uh, professor or with your other students. And having the weekly office hours gives you that time where the professor allocates one hour a week for all of the students to come in on a, like probably a Zoom call, for example. And you can talk about all the learning objectives from that past week or any questions that you have. And just, you really form more of a relationship with your um, other colleagues from in the class, as well as the professor. You just, you get to know each other much better over the course of each class. And you know, by the end of the degree altogether, you're all gonna be best friends forever. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just, it's a really a great opportunity. and to build that network. Um, I always like to say that like part of the MGM program is not just the classes that you're taking, but it's the opportunity to have the networking experience and the um, opportunity to talk to other people itself. So um, yeah, I think that answers the question. Let me know if you have anything else and I can tie into that. Perfect, thank you, Alicia. Uh, this next question, will I be able to balance working while taking the program? And I think Alicia or Lena can answer that. Do you want me to jump in, Alicia? Okay. So, you know what? That's a very good question. And, and that's something that every prospective student I, I speak with practically asks me that, asks me that question. Um, to be honest with you, Yes, it's a master's program. Yes, it's incredibly demanding, but you know what? It is designed for the working professional. It's designed for uh, for the healthcare workers that that put in the uh, not only forty hours a week, the fifty hours a week. It's designed for people who who have uh, personal obligations, family lives, children that are caretakers, and and you really will be able to incorporate this into your daily routine. So. It is designed for you. It is for the working professional. Perfect. That that was excellent. Excellent answer. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> our last question, again, I think, Alicia, this will probably go to you. How long does it take for a completed app to become accepted? Sure. Um, it generally takes about two weeks from the time that you submit your application until the time that you receive your admissions letter. Um, the Number one reason why I see, a, where I see a delay is usually with the letter of recommendation. So I follow up with you like about every other day just to let you know the status and keep you posted and say, hey, do you wanna prod your, per, your recommender along? We have, it's been about a week and we haven't heard from them yet. Because, and that's the biggest delay. Um, basically the process, the way that it works is you'll submit your application and um, one, as soon as we get that recommendation, we can go ahead and put it through our committee for full review. Um, I, I usually am the one who has the first look over of your application. And if there's anything missing, I'll let you know first before I fully process it. That way we can help make sure that there's no issues along the way and we can get you 
through to admission pretty quickly. Perfect, thank you, Alicia. Um, well, that's all for the questions. Uh, we wanted to thank each and every one of you for taking your time, um, taking time out of your day to, to listen to us and to listen to really this amazing program that is, is changing the lives of, of so many professionals that are involved in healthcare. And um, if you are interested in more information, I put Lena's um, email ad address into the chat. Um, she's looking forward to speaking with you. I know Alicia is as well. And uh, we just wanna thank you all for joining us today. Yes, thank you everyone. Thank you.